It's becoming an annual tradition, bringing fun, frivolity, and footy to the Granite State. It's the 2023 installment of the Lake Day Classic, and it's coming up next right here on Stateside Footy. We're on location here at Griffin Park in Wyndham, New Hampshire, the site of the 2023 Lake Day Classic between the Maine Cats and the Boston Demons. Hello and welcome to Stateside Footy, the program that features the great game of Australian rules football as it's played here in the United States. Alongside Tyler DeWallaby and the 10-year man John Cimino, I'm Bill Robert. We have the Cats and Demons on tap for you once again today. The first time these two teams met this season, it was not a lake day, but it could be argued that the field itself was a lake. The last time we saw the Demons and the Cats was last week at Millennium Park in West Roxbury, Massachusetts. Though both teams got in a lot of action, it was the Demons who got the most of the scoring, prevailing against their northern neighbors by a score of 16-5-101 to 7-7-49. Now the teams are ready, the lake is ready, and we're ready. Stand by for another exciting match between Maine and Boston, coming up next on this, the 99th episode of Stateside Footy. Lake Day Classic about to start on a Saturday afternoon here in Wyndham, New Hampshire. Saturday morning, I mean. <laughs> well, it's afternoon somewhere, but definitely not here. Everyone's well, in place? Yeah, yeah, everyone is in place to get started here. These two teams played a really good game despite the rain that we dealt with the last time we saw these two uh, meet mm -hmm. in, uh, in that one. So in the ruck, it's going to be uh, Ryan Kreshak for the Cats, and it looks like uh, Dave Morton once again for the Boston Demons. Matt Wood in action today, and I'm wearing the number two. Ken McCarthy out there as well. P.J. Devine is on the Boston side today, wearing the number 20. Something we, we don't usually see. Uh, yeah, we got Coop on the Cats here today. Right, yeah. Normally he's a, he's a, a, a demon, but today he's playing for the Cats side. Allison Monaghan and Diane Welch both playing for the Cats as well. And uh, we actually, uh, Jared Fernandez, who's here today, wearing the number 27, he told us about uh, one of the players wearing number 17 today, Lucas Herbert, who apparently is a PGA golfer. But according to Jared, footy is his first love, and he's out here playing with the Demons today. And he comes out of the ruck, Cats trying to get the clearance as they get the initial hit out. But the Demons will take it now. It's kicked up there. I believe that was a Jay Honey. And uh, indeed it was. And McCarthy passes and it's going to take a hop. He's got it now, kicks around the body, and that's going high. It's going to be right in front, and it's going to bounce. Who's going to get there first? Oh, it bounces past one of the cats. Just soccered off the deck now. Fernandez has it. He's wrapped up. He's got a couple of players on, three players. He's dispossessed finally, and the cats are able to, uh, oh, actually kicks toward the goals, and let's see here. I think that went out of bounds. So no scoring yet. Yeah, that one went out of bounds. You saw McCarthy able to soccer that one over to Fernandez, and he got it, and that was what resulted in that, but then nothing good doing from that play. Yep. Boundary throw in coming in. Goes right to Fernandez. Fernandez, that's a pop fly. <laughs> that's a goal. In basketball, they would call that a rainbow, but in that case, it wasn't even a rainbow. It was more like a, some kind of parabolic space flight. But the important thing is, Boston hits the uh, goals first. They hit the scoreboard, and as a result, they lead now one straight six. Jared Fernandez with another goal for the Demons. You may remember last year at Nationals, he was best on ground. Key, key goals for the Demons, especially in that grand final. He goes up once again, and let's see. Get out, no, quite, no advantage yet. Taken there by uh, number 17 there, that was uh, Pat Keane for the uh, cast, but now it's kicked over. I think that was Jay Honey in going. Oh, it goes right through Monaghan. And also, I think that uh, that's, is that Carroll Park out there too? That's Carroll Park. Carroll Park, by the way, just came back from the 49th Parallel Cup. She actually played for the uh, U.S. national team this year as the uh, 
Ball comes out finally. Cats on oh, the try to kick it. Goes right past Matera. Picked up by uh, Daniel Painting. Now to Jay Honey. Jay Honey kicks it over. It's going to roll. Will it stay in bounds? Uh, yes, McCarthy keeps it in bounds. Keeps it in play. Tries to set up somebody. He's got somebody open in space. He's got to be marked it. That was... Uh, number uh, 10. That's uh, going to be Colin Smith. Smith's got a good angle here. Yeah, he kicked, uh, kicked. I think he kicked a couple last time. And I hear clapping, so. So Fernandez with a goal, Smith with a goal. <laughs> and someone going to chase the footy in the woods. Might have to have some spare footy. Nope, they got it. Remember the one year where it was at the uh, smaller field in Wyndham? Mm -hmm. And literally, like half seemed half the day was spent trying to find the darn footy when it went in the woods. So anyway, two quick goals for the Boston Demons here. They lead right now two straight 12. Maine yet to touch the scoreboard. In fact, Maine really yet to really touch their half of the ground yet. Aside from initially coming out of the ruck. Up it goes and hit out by the cast to advantage. Um, uh, actually, Ooh. McCarthy tried to get the clearance, but then he was stripped by a, by a coop. That was Matera there getting it away from him. And now, here we go. The Cats are on the way. Kick goes wide and almost intercept mark. Goes through his hands. There's a battle for it now. And the Cats trying to move away with it. Ball goes to ground, and I think they're just going to ball it up. Indeed, here comes the umpire. Early stages of the first quarter. This will be, by the way, uh, a, a four-period game, four 15-minute quarters. So it'll be four 15s today for these guys out here and gals. Oh, I'm sorry, that's actually a free kick. I thought that was, uh, let's see. And in front, goes off a couple of hands. Oh, and they tried to just do a quick toe poke. They couldn't do that. But Maine right now in a good spot as they try and tie up the ball. And I believe they've got a ball up. Indeed, they do. In the shadow of their own attacking goals. Ball goes up. Hit out by the Demons. No clearance yet. Oh, somebody had it right in front, but he got dispossessed. Cats trying to do something with it there. A couple of toe pokes. They try and just kick it off the deck. Bunch of players going down after it now. And handball goes out, and we get a whistle. Stoppage in play. And I believe it's going to be a free kick. Free kick going to Ryan Kreshak. Kreshak did some nice things for the, for the Cats last week in the game at Millennium Park. Kreshak puts it up, and that looks pretty good. Or does it? Let's see. We got here claps, everyone's coming back. So indeed, that looks like that is a kick that is, well, actually, sorry, kick in, back goal score. That's a behind, not a goal. My apologies. Kreshak with a behind. And now the Demons look to bring it back out through the ground. I believe that's Morton, big kick. Has someone on the lead, he's got it, and he's just gonna play on now. Kicks into forward 50, looking for, oh, it's spoiled there. And I believe that's uh, Herbert Lucas there. And ball goes to ground. Loose ball, handball back. Ken McCarthy with it now, and he just looks to kick it in. Right in front, taken there, and I believe that was a Herbert. Lucas Herbert. Now the interesting thing is, Jared Fernandez said his name was Lucas, Lucas Herbert, but on the uh, roster here, it's Lucas Gill. Whoever it is, Lucas kicked the goal. So far, there have been f scoring shots. Cat, uh, the, uh, the Cats have had one so far. The Demons have had the other three, and all three of those have gone straight. So right now, the score stands. The Demons, three straight 18, and Maine, one behind one. As they bring the ball back up to center. Everyone's in position now. And it comes out. No clearance yet. Cats trying to move with it. They've got numbers around the ball right now. And here we go, he's running with it now. Can he get it? He's able to hand, oh. They can get pinged. So they're gonna play on now. Demons have it, but then they get it taken away. That's Kreshak now, Kreshak just to pop fly into space. Demons have numbers around the ball. Wood sit for Matt Wood, it will not. Matera trying to get it now, he's wrapped up by Wood. And he is also wrapped up there by uh, Carroll Park. Whistle. And it's going to be tied up. 
It'll be a ball up right in front of us here. And once again, Jacob O'Meara Gill acting as our umpire. Hit out to advantage, Matt Wood gets it off the uh, hit out from Morton. Play on, not 15, he's got to run with it now as he gets it, and that's uh, Pat Kane. That'll be a ball up, as the umpire did call play on. The kick did not travel 15 meters, was not enough to take a mark. Hit out now, but it's gonna go right to Matt Wood. Wood handballs back to P.J. Devine. Devine gets it to the boot, looking for, not quite getting his target, goes off a hand though. Jared Fernandez with it now, handballs it to McCarthy. Ken McCarthy kicks, looking for a target in front, and can't get it, Carroll Park is there. Handballed back out, Fernandez with it now. He's got some space, handballs it out, being unselfish. Oh, and he, oh. I think that was uh, The Verge, number 31. Indeed it was, Ben The Verge. Unfortunately, he sprayed it left. It's the indication from the referee here. Yeah, 3 one Yeah, they're getting set for the uh, kick-in in the back goal square. <clears throat> Keep up with Stateside Footy online. We're on Facebook as Stateside Footy TV, and on Twitter as Bill R underscore Actually, SS I, I should include in there the, the artist formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> and on the artist formerly known as Twitter as Bill R SS Footy. Bill R underscore SS Footy. Mm -hmm. All likes and follows graciously accepted and appreciated here on Stateside Footy. As the kick in travels a long way, goes all the way back to uh, midfield where it's taken by Ken McCarthy. And it's not marked, but he picks it up on a bounce. And let's see here. Oh, it's spoiled there. Nice job by the Cats. Can they get the ball? No. It's got to sit for the Demons. They'll pick it up. They'll try and handball it off. Jay Honey with it now. Jay Honey kicks. Looking into forward 50. Carroll Park is there. It's going to take a short hop. And it looks like Allison Monahan will get it. Unless you tap it out anyway. And with it there, that's Lucas. He's already had a goal. Handball's into space. The Verge trying to get it now. Just trying to kick it off the deck. Park, handball. Gets it over. Fernandez has it now. Fernandez, a little bit of a spin. He kicks. Is that going to bend back? That is not going to bend back. That is going to be another minor score. So now 3-2-20. For the Demons, still just that lonely behind for the main Cats. All right, now after the behind, it's going to go back out. It's going to look for Coop, but that's mar intercept mark there by Fernandez. Jared Fernandez. Great job there. He's been one of the better players for the Demons all throughout the season, already kicking 1-1 in the first quarter here. He gets set up. Fernandez calling the play here. And he kicks it. Oh, That's that, that might go. It, uh, I don't think it's going to have the aim. I think it's going to go wide. That's a behind. That'll be another scoring shot for Fernandez. And a very loud, lengthy behind. And now the Cats have possession of it after the behind. Kick in is marked. That's a mark there. Good job from the Cats to move the ball forward here. Haven't seen a lot of the Cats in their forward half of the field at all. And now it's still on the ground here. Demons get possession again. That handball is off. Batted away, and now McCarthy gets it. McCarthy tries to swirl around, and Juki handballs it off. It goes into a few players. Now it's back to the Cats. A scramble for it, and now it's just soccered off the ground, handballed off. It almost goes out of bounds, but it's kept in, it's kept inside. Fernandez going after it. The Demons and Cats both getting possession. This one it might just go out of bounds. There's going to be a scrum for it. It gets out. Now the Cats take possession again. Another scramble, and the whistle's getting blown. Far wing at center. A lot of things going on here, Bill, after the... Demons' most recent scoring shots. Yes, indeed. In fact, so far the Demons have uh, six scoring shots. Only three of them have gone straight. They're at 3-3 right now, 21 points. And we always make a point. The, the FROF is always crucial here. First rule of footy. <laughs> Except when you're leading 21-1. to one. Correct. <laughs> and let's see. Coop gets it now. Ooh, Kicking nice. in, delivering, and not quite spoiled. Although I think maybe the cat was trying to spoil an intercept mark. It was number 60, Ryan Clancy. And there was a tackle there. Did he get it? Oh, I think he get pinged for uh, holding the footy. Demons are getting a free kick. And the Demons here using every opportunity that they have to get any sort of leverage against the Cats here. What I'm noticing a lot from the Demons is their ability to spoil the 
the football when it's in the hands of the Cats is just unmatched right now. And, oh, a nice, nice mark. That was Jay Honey. Juggled it on the way down, but able to hang on to it. Contested mark for him. And it goes down, and uh, Carol Park has it now. Yep, there's Park, and now she's going to handball it off, but it's in possession of the Cats again. That's the Kreshak. Ruckman. That's Kreshak, the Ruck. And nice mark there for the Cats. That's number nine. It's Ryan Shoemaker. He's been with his club for a little while, so is Kreshak. And Shoemaker, that's going to be contested. It's spoiled away by the Cats, and now it's taken again by Morton. Morton passes that off to Wood. Wood got it. Kicks that one away, tries to get it to McCarthy, can't get it right to him. Oh, goes through the legs there. Goes five hole on Verge. Hey, there's a term we both know. Yeah, exactly. That's why I use the hockey term. Intercept and, oh. mark there by Jay, Mar uh, Jay Honey right in front. Nice, nice job there. Jay Hunt. That one a little off target. People aren't expecting it there. Jay Honey's been all over the football today, and that's Let's a see. kick. That one will go for a minor score. Yep, that's another minor score. I didn't see who kicked that one. but uh, I believe that may have been Lucas. Okay. So we'll put his number with a question mark for now. The good thing is we do all the scoring graphics after the fact, so I can always look at the footage and see who kicked it. Right now the Cats moving it up the ground. I well, thought I they were going corridor, but they're going to move it up the far wing. And let's see, can they get it? Oh, just Ooh. past the outstretched hands of uh, Shoemaker. Ball goes to ground. Demons will pick it right up. Demons showing tenacity on defense, especially the, the first time the Cats delivered it down in their own, deep in their attacking territory. Who's going to be there now? That's a uh, nice job there. But it's taken away. McCarthy has it. He's wrapped up. He gets the handball out. But then that is spoiled. Uh, Matera trying to get it now. But uh, able to get the handball away there was Devine. Wood going for it, competing there with Diane Welch. Wood has it. Handball over the head, and it's taken right there by one of the cats. He's going to be wrapped right up. No prior, so it's probably going to be a ball up. One thing I noticed about Ken McCarthy, uh, Bill, is that he always has the ability to turn on the Jets and be like a Patrick Dangerfield almost, where oh, yeah. he's just all over the ball in every facet of the game. Which is why he works so well in the engine room. Coming out of the uh, ruck now. Kreshak, oh, he ran right past it. He's got it now to Patera. Gets it to the boot. Low kick goes off a of body, but then it's taken. And with it now, that's Pat Keen. Keen kicks toward the goals. And that looks pretty good. Let's see. That's a goal. First goal for the main Cats, Pat Keen. And life has been has been breathed into the Cats here. We've, we've, got, we've got a game. And thanks to number 17, it's 1-1-7. How's that? 1-1-7 now for the main Cats, 3-4-22 for the Boston Demons. I believe that's quarter time. It is. So there we go, quarter time just after that goal. Nice long goal there. Nice kick from uh, Pat Keen. And so at the uh, end of one quarter, the score stands. The Boston Demons, three goals, four behind, 22 points. And the main Cats, one goal, one behind, seven points. Coming up next, we have got second quarter action, and we'll bring it to you right here on Stateside Footy. Are you into retro gadgets? Ta-da! Then here's your dose of old school tech. This is Tech Throwback, your place to turn for the techno trend from way back when. On Tech Throwback, we look at old computers, classic video games, and all those little doohickeys that used to brighten up your day. Yeah! Tech Throwback can be seen on public access television, or you can check us out online at vimeo.com slash channels slash tech throwback. It's the way we used to compute and play back in the day, and you can watch it anytime on Tech Throwback. Okay, here we go. Whistle's gone off. The ball's about to go up, and here we go. Second quarter action. Hit out of the ruck by uh, Morton, but cleared by the Cats at least to start. But it's going to be intercept mark there. And for the Cats, it's going to be number three. That's Chris Taylor. I'm sorry for the Demons. That's Chris Taylor. Goes across now and coming up. And let's see here. Well, Omira Gill was in range to mark it, but he's the umpire, so he couldn't do that. Kicked up there. And oh, it goes over Matira's head. But it might bounce. He could sit for him. He gets it now, but then gets wrapped right up. Hand oh, nice handball right there to Keane. Keane on the move. Kicks it in the middle, looking for a target. Jumped up. And oh, he can't mark it. And the Demons take it out of danger. Handball out. Jay Honey with it now. He is taken. Wrapped up before he can get the boot to the ball. Ball goes to ground. A couple players trying to toe poke it. Uh, here come the Demons now. Coming up on the wing. Just toe pokes it, and that's going to be out of bounds on the full. It'll be a free kick for the Cats. That came right over to us. Yes, it did. And Matera with the kick. That is marked. And, oh, Morton with a big smother there on that kick in the midfield. 
You're talking about McCarthy a with a tackle. Yeah, you heard that one from here. You're talking about a smother. He ate that like a Thanksgiving dinner. I think he might have left him. That, that one might leave a mark, actually, as it goes out the verge trying to uh, handball it there. Jared Fernandez has it. He is wrapped up. Is he down? And what do we call? Is it ball or is it uh, going to be uh, tossed up? It's going to be tossed up. It'll be a ball up. Second quarter action along the far wing. They'll toss it up and... Morton, oh, Morton, <laughs> just kind of splayed once he got up in the air. But he was able to hit it out, getting some nice elevation there. And let's see, ball going out, and uh, it will indeed roll out of bounds. It'll be a boundary throw in, far wing. Second quarter action right now, the score, 3-4-22 for the Boston Demons, 1-1-7 for the main Cats. And it gets tossed up once again, hit out of the ruck, and... Cats get the clearance. It's Kreshak now. Kreshak making some space for himself. Nice big kick there, and it's going to go through everybody. Will it sit for any of the Cats? No, it won't. The Demons try and pick it up. And with it there, trying to get it, that's uh, Ryan Shaw. And marked. Intercept marked there. And he is wrapped up. And he's going to kick it out. Right to, uh, I think that's Kreshak once again at half forward flank. Looking in front, can't mark it, but let's see who'll get that loose ball. It's tapped away. Nice job there getting the hand in was Ryan Shoemaker. And it'll go out once again. Boundary throw in. Half forward pocket for the uh, main cats. No scoring so far this quarter. Maine would like to be the first one to do it, seeing as they were the last ones to do it in the last quarter. Coming out once again and goes to ground. And we get another whistle. And it's gonna be a free kick. I think there was an infringement in that last uh, battle for it. So the Demons get the free kick. High kick along the far wing, going up for it and getting it easily. That's Fernandez. You can tell that stride and leap anywhere. He's gonna handball it off down to Jay Honey. He's got it coming through the corridor. Gets it to the boot. That's a long kick going in. Who's gonna get there? Nobody's gonna get there. And it's gonna stop and just go out of bounds past the outstretched hands of Alex Bellavo. It'll be a boundary throw in in the right forward pocket from the uh, Boston Demons. Once again, neither team has scored this quarter. Coming up once again. And they're under it. McCarthy tries to get it. He's knocked down. He actually does have it, but then he is wrapped up. And let's see what we're going to give here. I think they're just going to ball it up. Umpire calls for it, says my ball. He'll just ball it up. Rucks go at it once again. And hit out by the Cats, but not to advantage yet. Cats trying to get the clearance, though. With it there, that's Allison Monahan. I'm sorry, was that Allison Monahan? Uh, no, that's Allison Monahan. It goes in. Marked. Nice job there. That's uh, Jonathan Dowling. He turned Gets on it the to Jets. Krishak. Back to Dowling now. Dowling. Handball to Matera. Matera looking for a target. Oh, he just turns on the Jets. That is Keane. Keane with another big kick in. It's going wide. Let's see. Is it going to bounce? He's got it now. He is wrapped right up. But he gets. does he get rid of the ball? Yes, he does. Loose ball. Soccer through. And I think that's a goal. I didn't see who kicked it, but that looked like, or was it? Let's see. Are uh, they bringing it back to center? Nope, it's a behind. And that is marked by Devine. Devine now kicking up the near wing, looking for Colin Smith. Tapped away, spoiled there by Matera. And it goes out of bounds. There were a couple of times you could see you on that scoring shot for the Cats there where uh, uh, it was number 38, Gabe Ramos, who spoiled the ball quite a few times to uh, stop them from getting an easy goal shot. Mm -hmm. Kick back in by O'Connell. Intercept mark there by Matt Wood. Another stride and leap you can tell very easily. Now kicks out far, looking for, and getting his man there. So that's going to be uh, Chris Taylor. And it's intercept mark there by the Cats now. So they'll get set to take their kick. Kick coming in, and let's see here. Intercept marked again. And we're playing footy tennis right now, just going back and forth and back and forth. And that kick along the ground. Morton, a little bit of a hot potato. He can't hang on to it, but I believe that's Jay Honey who does pick up the crumbs. 
And spoiled. Nice job there by the Cats. Fernandez with it now. He's trying to make himself some space. Smother there by uh, the Verge. Kicks in. Oh, loose ball. But let's see here. Lucas will not be able to get it, so that's going to go through for a minor score. After uh, the first three straight kicks, everything since has been minor scores for the Demons. And the uh, Cats now taking the kick in from their own back goal square. And now as it goes through, it's another scramble on the field here on the Demons' side. But now the Demons have the ball again. Oh, that's a kick. Let's see what goes up for it. Nice mark right in front there and just goes right for the scoring shot. That's a goal. I believe that was Lucas who got that one. So two guaranteed scoring shots for him and possibly a third one. Well, he's, he's, he's uh, converted so far. I think he did kick uh, behind for them as well, but he did get uh, the goal there. So now it's a 4-5-29 for the Demons, 1-2-8 for the main Cats. And you can see that the Demons are definitely trying to keep up their level of play they, that, that they've been doing so well with for so long. By the way, you're watching Stateside Footy, the program that brings you Australian rules football played here in America. If you'd like to try and play, go to usafl.com and find a footy club near you. And now they're going to get uh, get ready for the toss-up here. Hit out to advantage for the Demons, but then the Cats recover. Cats almost got the clearance there, but not quite. That's Matt Wood. Oh, nice uh, kick there. And this is going to be, oh, not quite marked by McCarthy, but the Demons have it regardless. Handballed off to McCarthy. Can't quite get it. That is Kreshak. Kreshak with it. And they try to kick it ahead now. The Cats will grab Shoemaker has it. Oh. Oh. And Divine just spoils that one when Shoemaker was trying to get the ball out. Try, trying to handball it over to uh, Jonathan Dowling, but that wound up not being the case. So we've got a boundary throw in right near our camera position here. And the boundary throw in. Hit away by the by the demons, but gone right to the cats. Coop had it in his hands for a couple of seconds. Now Coop's got it. He gets it stripped away though. Divine soccer's it ahead and it goes over. Now it's Divine once again with it. He kicks it up, and that one goes out of bounds and right into the tents. Yep, out of bounds on the full. Free kick for the cats. Could be taken by Shoemaker. Shoemaker. Ooh, that's a nice, nice kick. kick. That one has some speed and some power on it. Gets to the Cats once again. They keep trying to handball it off just to get it away from the Demons' relentless defense here. Demons showing a lot of pressure today. And the Demons get it once again. That was Morton. Now there's some space. He soccers it ahead. He was taken down there, though. Oh, but he's gone. They call it, Actually, no, it's sorry. That, yeah, he's gone, holding the ball. So that kick now goes over Kreshak. Will not sit for him. Jay Honey battling him for the ball now. Honey wraps him up and play on, calls the umpire. Handball to head. And with it now, that's uh, number 60 there. That's uh, Ryan Clancy. He Ooh. kicks it into 50 and taken once again by the Demons. Loose ball. That kick got smothered there, Bill. Big time. And here they come once again. Kick in and let's see. Matera spoils it. Can it sit for him? No, it. <laughs> It is uh, going ahead, but now it's kicked by the Cats. A couple of players go after it. Kreshak's got it now. Kreshak runs, gets some space, takes his kick, and that's going to go well wide, I think. Is that a minor, or did that go out on the full? I believe that was a minor scoring shot. We'll see where they take the free kick from. And let's see here. Oh, yep, back goal square. That's over behind. And it's marked, and the Demons will start to move it out now. Let's just update that score there. one three, nine now for the main Cats. 4-5-29 still for the Boston Demons. As taken by Monaghan. She handballs it ahead. And here come the Cats. Couple of handballs. Can they get a kick in? Yes, it's marked by Pat Keane. Keane looking for a target. Demons keeping up their pressure. And just spears a kick. Going past everyone, loose ball, picked up by the Demons, and they'll kick it out once again. But O'Connell's right there. He'll take the intercept mark, and the ball's going to be coming right back. 
And that's a big kick in by O'Connell. They're lining up who's going to take it. No, but it's spoiled. We got a whistle, though. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I thought I heard a whistle. I did not as the play continues. They're playing on along the ground. Loose ball there. And let's see. Oh. Cats desperately just trying to get somebody to get a boot on the ball and get it toward the goals. And that's a ball that uh, comes out a little bit. Intercept mark there by Devine. He takes a running bounce, and he will kick it up into the midfield, but it's short. O'Connell, once again, intercept mark, and it'll be right back. It'll be coming right back for the Cats. And once again, here we go now. That's a big kick. It looks like it's going to go into traffic. It's intercept marked. Beautiful. That was a contested mark, and he got that. Jay Honey. Jay Honey yet again all over the football. Oh, look at Monaghan getting in there against two targets and that, spoiling it. That That's a big, a... long kick. Is that going to go? Oh, hit, hit the behind post, so it's out of bounds on the full. It'll be a demon's free kick. Kick had the journey, just did not have the aim. And that one is marked now. Here we go with that. Oh, bit of a speared kick there. Oh, bounced off his chest, he finally gets it, but then yep. he's wrapped up, and loses he get, the ball. Oh, he loses that one. Now the Cats get it, but it, the Demons are applying the most relentless pressure I've seen in a long time. That's yeah. a, And that was a kick. It kind of went into nothing, and now Monaghan will go after it. Got Park on her, and now. Kreshak with it after the handball from Keen. Kreshak's got an amazing speed, so we'll see what happens here. And Ramos, Schumacher can't take it. Ru Ramos once again spoiling that one. Mm -hmm. And now it's the Cats it's with it again. Kick. That looks like it's going to be a good kick. I think that's a goal. No idea who kicked it, but uh, another major score for the main Cats. Behind. Behind. Oops. Okay, well, so much for that. It looked like it had the... Uh, I thought I saw applause, but guess not. Kick in from the back goal square, and that's taken by Matt Wood. I thought it was going to get intercept marked for a second there, but Wood was all over it. His kick now, near wing, going for it. Intercept Ooh. mark there. Nice job once yep. again. That's the third intercept mark we've seen in recent history from Dan O'Connell, and he kicks it now back to the midfield, and there we go. He's just going to play on. 56 there. That's uh, going to be uh, actually uh, Jordan Madigan. And... Demons trying to knock it ahead. And kick there goes, and oh, almost Ooh. taken. A big marking contest there. Ball goes to ground, but the Demons will get it now. Kick it to midfield, and it'll be taken by Ken McCarthy. Here come the Demons. Oh. And that's a big kick going forward. It's going to, oh, it actually goes off of uh, one of the Cats' hands. But now with it, there we go. That's Lucas once again. That kick is going to go well wide and pop out, I think that's going to be a boundary throw-in. But it will still be a good situation for the uh, main Cats. And I'm sorry, the Boston Demons, rather, is it's going to be in their uh, right forward pocket. Left forward pocket, excuse me. So, yep, boundary throw-in. Cats looking to get some more numbers back there right now. O'Connell just walked in there. Up it goes. Hit out by O'Connell, but right to Jay Honey. Jay Honey puts one off the boot. And I think that I think that went wide. I believe in this neck of the woods we call that halftime. And at halftime, the score, the main cats, one goal, four behind, ten points. And the Boston Demons, four goals, four majors, and a major's worth of minors, six behind. 30 points for the Demons. Coming up next, second half action. You will catch it right here. Don't go anywhere. We still have lots more state's head footy still on the way. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com. Find your team. Check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We won the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. Rocks are in position, and here we go. Ball. No clear clearance yet. Is it uh, tightened up right now? 
at uh, midfield. And held up. This comes out once again, and with it now, that's Matt Alexander. Touches to the ground, gets absolutely steamrolled, taken down, and I believe he's, let's see, he's gone. That was holding the ball. Comes out now, and Jay Honey will mark it. Honey with a big kick in and spoiled. Demons can't take it. They've got it now. That's Colin Smith. Handballs it out. That's taken right away by Pat Keene. Keene is able to handball it away. And here we go. The Cats on the move. Handball over. And Kreshak, nice one handed grab there. He makes some space for himself. Kicks it ahead right into the path of an oncoming demon. That's uh, number 13 there. That's uh, Joe Gratz. Gratz with it now. That's Alexander. He loses it to uh, McCarthy. And handballed up back to McCarthy. McCarthy, bit of a handball there. Taken now, and they're just going to boot it up the far wing. Targets are lining up, and it's just going to bounce, and then take a weird bounce back and actually go in the Cats' direction. And, and we got a whistle. Uh, looks, like, uh, looks like someone could ping for holding the ball. Free kick, Demons. And just a spear line drive. Marked, intercepted by the Cats. And they're just going to kick it out to the near wing. Shoemaker's got it now. That's Ryan Shoemaker. And he kicks it, but it looks like, can he get it? He's got it. That's Kreshak. Kreshak with the mark. And let's see, that one. Can he get it? Nope, it's going to be spoiled, and it's going to go out of bounds. So this will be a... Up, oh, it's called out. Let's see. They say it was out on the full, so it'll be a free kick to the Demons. And with it there is going to be Luke Hemingway. And they kick up the line. Fernandez lining up and taking it easily right in front of us here. Up, oh, there we go. Fakes a kick, makes himself a little space, and kicks it going deep. Can they line up? It's going to go through everyone. And I think that's going to be out of bounds. I think it'll be a boundary throw in. And a free kick. No, I think that was a kick, kick in from the back goal square. So that was a behind. So that's a behind for the Demons. So it's 4 7 31 now for Boston. And kick. Kreshak lining up. He's got it easily. He's just going to stop, take his kick. Find some targets up ahead. No, he's just going to handball it out, and then they'll do it. And that's Pat Keene with it right now. Pat Keene going to go up to Carter. Actually, he's going to kick it out far looking for and getting his man. I believe that's going to be O'Connell. O'Connell kicks in. Intercept mark, and he's going to take it right back. Here come the Demons on the march. Matt Wood open at midfield. He takes it. He plays on. Takes a running bounce. Stops. Sells a little bit of candy. He's got a cat right on him. He's just going to kick it across. Contest forming. Punched out by the Cats. And Chase given for it right now. Goes through everybody. Hit ahead and oh, Diane Walsh. Diane Walsh almost almost got it there but uh, with it now that's McCarthy. And it's going to go and it's going to skip and let's see who's going to get their first. It's uh, Fernandez. Fernandez has it now. Fernandez centering ball. Looking for the verge. Looking for somebody there. And I think it's going to go uh, let's see. I think that stopped right in front. I think that might have been a Lucas once again. It looked like it was going through for a behind, but it may have stopped just in front, and then Lucas picked it up and kicked it through. But I still see, uh, see people out there, so I think that might be another. Actually, nope, that is a goal. Five seven thirty seven now. That did go through. I wasn't sure whether or not that ball went through and uh, was a behind or not, but uh, it stayed in play, and Lucas just picked it up and just uh, kicked it right through. Yeah. 
And coming out once again, let's see here. Demons get the clearance. Wood now handballs it off. Divine back to Wood. Wood kicks it out wide. And getting it there. That's going to be a Chris Taylor. Taylor, a little bit of a line drive kick. Big intercept mark there. I think that's O'Connell. He handballs it ahead. And it's Alexander now. Matt Alexander for the Cats. He's wrapped up. And I think he's going to get pinged. I think he is gone. Yes, holding the ball is the call. Demons get it. Uh, Jay Honey with the free kick. And almost taken there. Almost intercepted by the Cats on the far wing. Cats do have it now. And they handball it ahead. Ball goes to ground and then goes out of bounds. So we will have another boundary throw in here. Third quarter action here at uh, Griffin Park in Wyndham, New Hampshire right now. It's a 5-7-37 for the uh, Boston Demons, 1-4-10 for the Maine Cats as it comes out once again. And I think we'll have another boundary throw in. Now let's see, it goes back up now and Hit out to advantage by the Cats. Can they move with it? They can't really get a clinical clearance, though. Jay Honey had it for a second. Cats have it now. And here we go. Kick. Leading kick there. It is spoiled, though. Nice job by the Demons defense there. That was uh, 38, I believe. It was, uh, it was 38. That's a Gabe Ramos, who you've been hearing about already as the ball goes to a midfield. Now, Monaghan picks it up. Oh, she can't hold her footing, though. But she does get the handball off. And we got a whistle. And it looks like they'll ball it up. Just a reminder that Stateside Footy is the show that lets you get your footy on, on cable or online. Check us out on video, Vimeo.com slash Stateside Footy TV and check your local cable channel listings as well. If it isn't there, contact them and say you want to see Stateside Footy. Get it on every cable channel. That would be nice. And so, we're balling it up here. And hit up by Shoemaker. Here we go with it now. They move it ahead. And let's see. Oh, Kreshak. Oh, Kreshak is hauled down. And Demons have it now. Some good uh, play from the back. That's kicked in towards the sticks. And let's see, that is going. I think that's going to be another behind for the main cats. Yes, indeed, they're uh, playing for a kick in. They're all in, uh, all lined up for a kick in. So that did indeed go for that did indeed go for a behind. So now it's one five eleven for the main cats. Still five seven thirty seven for the Boston Demons, and the kick in from the back goal square. Oh, he can't mark it, and he is wrapped right up. He uh, he's oh there we go. Nope, ball. Free kick for the Cats. Big defensive play there. One of the Demons just couldn't, hand, just couldn't hang on to the mark. Just fumbled the ball around, finally started to run around. And when that happened, he was wrapped right up. They did not let go. And that kick now going in, it's not going to be long enough, I don't think. Can they mark it? They can't. It's loose in front and kicked over. And Kreshak will be there. He, he I can't quite get it. It's just handballed out there. And that goes out of bounds. So Cat's still in good position as the kick of the throw-in is going to be in their uh, right forward pocket. Up it goes now and hit out by the Demons. Can they get someone to it? It takes a little skip and a jump, and the Demons do have it. He's able to get it and stay in bounds. Takes a running bounce. Nice job there, Jay Honey. Then he sells some candy, gets it to the boot, looking for oh, It's going to go over Fernandez's head and skip out of bounds, but still a lot of meters gained there for the Boston Demons, and it's a good, uh, good stead for them because they're going to have a boundary throw-in in their attacking half of the ground. All right, and now we're going to have this one tossed in here. These boundary throw-ins are always interesting. You never know what can result from them. Right. And here it goes, the boundary throw-in. I think they're going to redo that. No, I guess not, as one of the cats did get to it. And here we go. Cats trying to move a long way here up the ground. 
And there's no way that Shoemaker's going to be able to get that. Bounces right into the hands of Matt Wood. Matt Wood then, nice long kick. And can he get it? He does. That's Colin Smith. Got, that's Colin Smith with the mark. That that's might beautiful. be within range for him, actually. It might be. We've seen him kick something like that before. So let's see. Oh, oh look at that. And that's going to go. No, he's going to line mark. it up. But still, that's Morton and kicking it. Oh, marked right in front. Loose ball. Man, uh, Monahan has it now. Yep, and Monahan. she gets it out of danger. Nice job, Allison. She did well. And Jay now, Honey trying to move it back in. But Cats, are with, uh, Cats have it now. Demons take it back. Kick in by Smith. Goes right through Lucas's hands. He does go back down to go after it, though, along with Monahan. And Fernandez has it now. Handball to Park. Handball and trying to center ball in front. Goes to, uh, I think that's Morton. Morton. Let's see, that's a big kick up. And let's see here. That's going, I think, well wide. Might have been across the face. Might have been a behind. Let's see where they pick up to take that free kick. Looks like he's going to the back goal square, so that was a behind for the Demons. 5 8 38 now for the Boston Club. And the kick in to O'Connell, who marks it. Nice kick. Cats have it now on the near wing. Kicking up, looking for Shoemaker. It's going to take a bounce and then go high. Shoemaker's able to get it. He is wrapped right up by two Demons. Diane Welch trying to get it now. And trying to pick that up was P.J. Devine. He gets wrapped up, and I think they're just going to ball it up. Latter stages of this third quarter. Once again, we're playing four 15-minute quarters. So far, the Demons with a commanding lead. Hit out by the Demons, but right to Kreshak. Kreshak, handball to Keen. Keen, that might be bending. Oh, actually, it won't make it anyway, but uh, loose ball there. Diane Welch tries to get it, tries to kick it to Washington. However, with it right now, that is uh, Ryan Shaw is just trying to soccer it up the field. With it now, that is uh, Chris Taylor. And the Demons kick it up once again, looking for, not quite getting his target, but can he pick it up? No. O'Connell, oh, O'Connell loses it. Here come the Demons. They've got numbers the other way. Kick going over now, and it's going to take a hop. It will sit for Matt Wood. Matt Wood. And... Oh, right there. Gets it to Lucas. Tough angle. A tough angle, but still able to, he's still able to hit it from there, I bet. Let's see. Ooh. That's that going to bend, and that's going to be uh, behind. Yep, that bent a little bit too much. And now the ball is going to go back here. It tried to get it to Monaghan, but it was still marked by the Cats. Carroll Park defending for the Demons here. And now he's got to make a decision on who to get it to. Looking for Shoemaker. 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 Oh, that one's Spoiled batted away by, by Wood. Wood. Shoemaker gets the now handball now. Kicks it over. Oh, and did you mean basically did you they mean have numbers. And they have numbers and it goes out. So it'll be a boundary throw in right close to us. Stateside Footy is available at any time, day or night. Find us online at vimeo.com slash stateside footy or look up Stateside Footy on youtube.com. YouTube is my go-to. That would make it the go-tube. <laughs> and it comes out and goes through a bunch of cat's hands, but they finally are able to get it to Kreshak. Kreshak now to O'Connell. Big kick. They're looking for a coop in front. Coop. Oh, he can't hang on to it. And oh, boy. Oh, oh, ah. Uh. P.J. Devine got clocked there. Once again, doing his job. And he gets it back up, and he finally gets it, and he kicks it out of danger. And he gets it right to Ryan Shaw. Shaw takes a running bounce, and he takes it up the far, wee, uh, the far, uh, the far wing. And the ball goes loose once again. With it now, that's Fernandez. Fernandez wrapped up by a couple of cats. Handball's back up to number 51. That's Daniel Painting. And it goes over Matt Wood's head. It's going to skip and roll. It looks like the Cats will get there first. It'll sit for them. And here we go. Matt Wood with a tug on the shorts. We've got a whistle. And I believe that's going to be three-quarter time. So we had a bunch of scoring shots, but only one goal. 
in this third quarter. Fourth quarter action yet to come. Well, in fact, that'll be coming up next for you right here. Score at the end of three. The Boston Demons, five goals, nine behind, 39 points. And Maine Cats, one goal, five behind, seven points. Coming up next, we'll conclude this thing. It'll be the final quarter of this game today in Western Windham, New Hampshire. You're going to watch it right here on Stateside Footy. Fourth quarter about to start between the main cats and the um, Boston Demons here in the Lake Day Classic. Here at Wyndham, New Hampshire on a Saturday afternoon in mid-August. Bill Robert alongside with Tyler DeWallaby here and Tyler so far it's been uh, actually it's can be kind of a back and forth uh, considering the difference in sport scoring shots we think we'd see more of a difference in the score but accuracy hasn't exactly been uh, in vogue today. Well uh, well right and you know we talked about the first rule of footy earlier and I think that's it's definitely one of the things about that is the first half is definitely prevalent there, but uh, so far the demons are keeping that score well within their own reach. The key thing is right now the demons just keeping up the pressure. Anytime uh, Maine tries to advance and try and get uh, within their attacking goals, the, the pressure from the demons is just absolutely crazy. Ball back at center. People are getting in position. And who are your rucks going to be? It looks like it's going to be uh, uh, Matt Alexander and Dave Morton. Up we go, and Morton hits it out, and P.J. Devine will get it. It'll be a hit out to advantage. Can they get the clears? Intercept mark there by Allison Monahan. Went to the knees, just got right in front of that one and snagged it. Nice mark there by Monahan, and she you now is going to kick it ahead, looking for, and oh, can't quite get it to uh, one of her teammates. Can't see a number there. However, it's loose. And Kreshak has it now. Kreshak wrapped up by a couple of demons, and he is gone. That is ball. Holding the ball, demons will get the free kick. And just a little tap out to Ken McCarthy. A little too far. He had to go for it now. He couldn't uh, field it cleanly. Therefore, the uh, main cat caught up with him. And it's a kick now. And oh, it takes a weird bounce. And who's going to get there first? It's going to be the cats. Cats, near wing. Kicking up, looking for. Oh, he just thought he had it and didn't. Oh, and that goes to Matera now. Matera gets it now, and that kick a little offline. But see, oh, can he mark it in front? He's got it. That is one of our shadow, one shadow, of our jumpers. shadow players. Yeah, a whole bunch of players here. When they get the uh, round of jerseys from Geelong, a bunch of them didn't have numbers in it. So, unless we know them by sight. But that looks like. Let's see. That's that's a goal. That looks like a goal. That had a good angle, and that was a good shot. Big shot there for the main cats. Now it's 2 5 17. They still trail by 22, but you know, four goals. Weirder, weirder things have happened. We've seen weirder things happen. You know, we've seen weirder things happen in an AFL game. I, I know that uh, there have well, been. The, many cl the classic one was a few years ago North Melbourne versus Adelaide. Last five minutes, Adelaide was up by four goals. I'm sorry, North Melbourne was up by four goals, and Adelaide just went on a tear. Broke a lot of North Melbourne hearts that day. Well, if you're a North Melbourne fan, your heart is already broken, but. I wasn't going to go there. Coming out once again, Demons trying to get the clearance. And handball to McCarthy. He can't hang on to it, though. And it's handballed ahead. Oh, nice job by Keen getting that one. Here we go now. He delivers a kick. Can they get there? It's intercept mark, though. Nice job by the Boston defense getting there and getting that in time there. But, you know, that's nothing to say the, uh, the about the fans of North Melbourne because if you're still a fan of North Melbourne now, that's, you're a that's dedicated. That's devotion. That's devotion, dedication. Yeah. As the uh, kick comes in, taken there by uh, Ryan Shaw. Big kick there. Almost intercept mark, but it goes off his hands. And it's going to be Fernandez. Fernandez just running into an open goal square and kicking. A goal. So Maine gets a goal, and you thought they might be on the road back, but uh, Fernandez says, yeah, I don't think so.
And once again, number 27, showing us why he was best on ground at last year's Nationals. By the way, I'm not talking about the club. I'm talking basically for Division Two. He was voted Division Two player of the tournament of the of the weekend. Best on ground, best and fairest. And coming out of the ruck once again, let's see. Cats are going to get, oh, they won't get the clearance because one of their players had it, but he is wrapped right up by Lucas. No prior opportunity, though. Remember, in order to be holding the ball, the player has got to have a prior opportunity to dispose of the ball and somehow get rid of the ball. If they get the ball and are immediately tackled, that's no prior opportunity, so that will not be a, a kick for holding the ball. As long as you demonstrate that you're trying to dispose of the ball as it goes out wide now. And Pat Keen kicks it up there, looking for, oh, just getting it over the outstretched hands of a teammate. And Jay Honey, actually, that, that might, it might have been out on the full as they were going for it. It went off a, a foot and wound up popping out of bounds. It didn't, uh, it didn't go out on the full, though. They, they said that it, it, it rolled out. Although one of the demons says, hey, it looks like it went out on the, on the full, but it's not what the umpires say, so up it goes. Jay Honey trying to hit it out. McCarthy getting in there, too, but it's Kreshak now. Kreshak gets around a couple of players and gets the handball off. Here we go with it now. That's Keen. Keen. Oh, uh, let's see. It's bending. Ooh. Can he get it? Oh, he hit the post. Oh, he hit that goal post. That was bending, and that looked good. 2 6 18 now for the Cats. But the goalpost stayed intact. Few of our bloopers over the years, the goalpost has been hit and just split and fell apart or whatever. In fact, one of those bloopers got on the footy show down in Australia. As uh, it's taken now by Ryan Shaw, he takes the mark after that kick from deep in his own territory. And line drive kick. Honey. Oh, he gets spoiled by O'Connell. McCarthy has it, though. Handballs it off. And with it now, that's Colin Smith. Colin Smith with the kick in. Intercept mark there. And here it comes. I think that's uh, O'Connell. Oh, that's not O'Connell. That's right. That's uh, Jordan Madigan. And a uh, kick going uh, far, far wing now. Taken by Chris Taylor. Taylor has it. Taylor kicking it. Oh, it actually bounces off a main cat. And the cats will bring it right back now. Here we go. Handball goes off. And they get it. And it's Kreshak with it now. Kreshak lining up. Just pinning the ears back. Getting some space. And let's see, that kick is really high. Can Kreshak take it? He's marked it! Ooh, he got that. Can Kreshak make that kick from, kick from that tough angle? O'Connell's coming up, too, to help out. See him there with his hands. I say, hey, I'm here. I'm open. Ken McCarthy's pointing to him now. He's like, hey, this guy's over here. And it looks like the uh, Ds will be sending somebody. That kick goes in, and let's see here. In front is marked by O'Connell! And he's probably going to have to do a J-curve around the body. He's just going to line it up. What's he going to do? Oh, he kicks it across the face of goal, and he's going to go out of bounds. Oh, missed opportunity there for the, for the uh, Cats. As literally, O'Connell had it in the shadow of the goals. Actually goes across the face and out of bounds on the full, too. So it's a missed opportunity. It'll be a demon's free kick in their own back pocket. Kick goes up now. And, oh, intercepted. He's going to kick it now toward the Ooh. sticks. That's looking pretty good. Let's see here. I hear whistles. I hear applause. And I see people moving toward the center. Didn't see who got the boot to it, but it looks like the main cats missed an opportunity before but made the best of that one. And that indeed is a goal. So now it's 3-6-24, so we're talking a 21-point difference. So they would still need four more straight unanswered kicks. But there's still time. Any more rewards of Sean Connery? Never say never. Wouldn't it be more like never say never? Yes. Yes, yes Goldfinger. Yes. Yes, Goldfinger. Yes. And it goes back up to center. And trying to get the clearance as... Uh, once again, Alexander tries to kick it out. Matera almost had it. And an intercept mark there. Nice job there by the Cats. They were looking for the diversion. Obviously, they didn't get him. Madigan has it now. Madigan to the boot. Looking for. And getting his man in the middle. So here we go. Main Cats. High risk, high reward territory right up the corridor. It takes a bounce. And that's where Jay Honey will pick it up off a bounce. 
And scale it in. And, oh, loose ball. And it looks like, oh, looked like uh, Lucas was going to take it. Oh, he is gone. That's got to be ball. Yeah, it's ball. He is gone. Basically, he took it away. I thought Lucas was going to run into an open goal square, but one of the cats came in. He grabbed it. He was wrapped up right up. Did not get rid of it in time. So, and I believe it was Fernandez who made the tackle because he's getting the free kick. That's a tough angle, but not for this guy. And let's see. That's looking pretty good. And there we go. Fernandez with another goal. Seven nine fifty one. Well, call him a trickster. That's a hat. That's a uh, a pack of three for him. Yes. Yep. Nice going there. By Fernandez. And now they'll bring it back up to center. So seven nine fifty one right now, and uh, everyone knows. Well, not everyone knows, but people who know me know <laughs> my love for the number fifty one, as in squad. Up it goes now, and hit up by Morton, then goes off a set of cat hands, but it's going to be uh, Wood with the clearance there. He gets it to Colin Smith. Colin Smith handballs it. Morton now. Morton's just going to go for broke. He's going, and that's going to be a goal. Dave Morton. The recently wedded Dave Morton, I would also add. Takes it right out of the middle. It went right up the corridor, and he did not miss. And so right there, two quick kicks. And the Demons kick a couple of straight ones, and all of a sudden, this is a commanding lead, 57-24 now. 8-9-57 for the uh, Demons, 3-6-24 for the Cats. As it comes out now, and here comes Keen with it. Demons looking to add, kicks it over Wood's head, but it'll sit for him. Here we go, Wood sidesteps a tackle, handballs it off. It's low, though, and going to number 40 there, who's uh, John Kokonar. Main kicks it in towards the sticks, and let's see here. It's going to roll, and stoppage in play. And it'll be a boundary throw in as it does go out. Just rolls over the line. And Morton trying to hit it out to advantage. Demon's trying to move it up, and that's going to be out of bounds, and that'll be... Another boundary throw in. Or is it? No, I'm sorry. It went out of bounds on the fold, so it's a free kick. Free kick to the Cats. My apologies, folks. And they try a centering ball. Can they get it? No, it goes loose. And, oh, boy, bunch of players in there just trying to get at it. And I think someone just kicked it in. Oh, no, they kicked it through for a behind, it looks like. Yeah, as it's uh, the kick in. So 3-7-24 now for the Cats. I'm oh, sorry, 3-7-25 for the Cats. And it's going all the way down the far wing. Cats do get it. I think that's uh, Monahan in there with it. Fernandez now. Fernandez with a big kick looking for the verge. It's going to bounce, and who's going to get there first? The Verge won't get it. The Cats will come away with the uh, recovery. And he marks it. They're going to move it up the ground now. And there we go. Cats up the corridor, right up the middle. And who's going to get it? It's going to take a bounce right into the hands of one of the uh, Cats. Nice job there. That's a Pat Keen. He then takes a running bounce, puts it across. Nice sliding oh. mark there. That was beautiful. That is one of the most that is one of the most beautiful marks I've ever seen, especially in a USAFL game. Obviously, these players are very skilled, but you usually see that in an AFL game. You don't see that in these kinds of games. That was brilliant. Great sliding mark there. That was beautiful. Unfortunately, it's one of the Phantom players, so we're not sure who it is. And that kick goes. That goes well wide. Or does it? Looked like it was going wide, but I hear applause. And people are moving to the front, so there we go. 
Uh, my apologies, folks. I thought they were going to center. They're actually just setting up for the uh, kick in from the back goal square. So, in fact, uh, the score is not 4 7 31 as we originally said, but it is 3 8 26. And the Demons mark it on the far wing. 3 8 26 for the uh, main cats. It's marked there. Nice job there by. Oh, actually, oh, Taylor did not mark it there. I thought he marked it, but he didn't. Ken McCarthy taking off the ball. <laughs> did a bit of a somersault there. And kicked ahead now. Let's see who we've got. Kicked ahead by the Cats. They're going back there. And Matera with a mark. Nice job, Coop. And he handballs it out, and here we go. I think that's Madigan. Handball over to Shoemaker. Shoemaker's got it now. I'm sorry, that's not Shoemaker. That's O'Connell. O'Connell, handball to Kreshak. Here we go. Kreshak on the move. Cuts inside. Kicks it toward the sticks. Demons have numbers, and indeed it's going to be Matt Wood who makes the intercept mark. And Woody kicks it out to the far wing once again and goes over everyone. And kicked ahead there by Ryan Shaw. Does it stay in bounds? It does. Fernandez going to pick it up. Jared Fernandez for the Demons. Sells some candy. Gets past Monahan. Big kick there. Let's see what we got. And by the reaction of that, that looks like another one. That's a goal. Another goal there for the uh, Boston Demons. Demons will come right back and put one through. So right there. And that, I believe, is the fourth goal for Jared Fernandez. And once again, just a big, long, booming kick. I think I just heard someone say five minutes. All right. Well, speaking of... Uh five on this sheet here. Oh, and there yeah, we we'll go. Uh, I think uh, it's balled up again. Yep. So balled up, we're going to see here. Hit out to advantage for the Demons. McCarthy has it. He's smothered up by four people, though. Kicks it up. Still manages to get that away. That's Coop going after it. Oh, and, and Wood getting that right away. This one right here, that's, oh, that's Pat Keen with it. Keen kicks that. Marked by the Cats. Alexander with it now. Yep, yeah, Alexander has it, and everybody just keeps saying time. So I wonder uh, if I wonder if we're getting really close to time here. Probably. Oh, you got a whistle there. And and I think the free kicks are gonna go to Monahan. Oh boy, let's see what happens. Yeah. And an intercept mark for the Demons. On the footy ground, do not let her stature fool you. You underestimate Allison Monahan at your own peril. Yeah. Nice mark there by you, uh, Matt Wood. You will, come to you will come to regret it if you underestimate her. Here we go. Mark. Very much so. Colin Smith. And once again, the Demons just bringing it right back up the ground. Fernandez now making his move. And spoiled away. Nice job by the Cats defense. And hit up there by Bella, though. Loose ball. Going after it now is Monahan. Monahan gets it. And then just puts a grubber kick out to one of her teammates. He's, she's got it. He's got some space to run now. And they kick it up the far wing, looking for. And getting O'Connell. And he's going to play on. Here come the Cats. O'Connell takes a running bounce. Gets it to the boot. Looking for a target, and let's see. It's knocked away. One of the cats has it, though. Then he's dispossessed, and here come the demons back the other way. Kick once again up the far wing. Intercept mark there. I think that's O'Connell once again. Mentioned his name a lot today. Then again, we usually mention his name a lot in every game we do with the main cats. And just a spear kick there, line drive. Skips and uh, goes past everybody. And I think uh, Coop's got it now. He's wrapped up by Matt Wood. Tries the centering ball, picked up by one of the Demons. And that's just kicked through the corner. It'll take a hop, go right to Colin Smith. Colin Smith handballs to Ken McCarthy, and the Demons are right back. Long kick, and let's see here. Intercept, Mark. That was beautiful on the dead run, and he plays on, gets it right back, and Colin Smith gets in the way, gets a hand to it. Allison Monahan, she's able to get the ball as it sits to her. Handball's off to Madigan. Madigan looking for Coop, and getting Coop right there, right in front of our position here. Matera with a kick. 
And, oh, a couple of cats went for it, and I think they spoiled each other. And now with it, that's Jay Honey. I'm sorry, that's Jay Honey. That was uh, Matt Hemingway with it before. Matt Hemingway, I'm sorry, Luke Hemingway. And we got a whistle. And I think it's ball. So who's going to get the free kick there? And it's going to be uh, Cats once again. Is that Belovo? Whoop! Caught Kreshak by surprise. Kreshak trying to get it now. He's ridden off the ball by a couple of the demons. And Ken McCarthy has it now. And he kicks it right out. Oh, it, Colin Smith can't get it, but he picks it right up off the ground. T touches it to the ground. And just looks to deliver. And let's see here. It's spoiled. And right in front, Luke going after it. But it's taken once again. And the Cats will kick it much in our direction. Can Coop get it? Let's see. A couple of players go for it. Neither one, either Coop nor uh, McCarthy got it. And there's a painting now. Jay Honey. Bounces weird for McCarthy. McCarthy just tries to knock it on. But with it now, that is uh, Pat Keen once again. Pat Keen looking for Kreshak. Getting Kreshak because he marks it right at midfield. And Kreshak. Ooh, nice mark there that was. Shoemaker. Shoemaker, yep. You'd think I'd know that by now. Oh, nice slide there. He's been doing that a lot today. Another one. <laughs> Two in a row. Turn on the Jets and then slide. Exactly, and that's 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 worked for a lot of the Cats players today. Uh, one of the one of the most notable ones for is is Kreshak. Kreshak has been absolutely unbelievable for the Cats today. One of the bright spots. He had a good game last week too. Now here come the demons. That was Fernandez handballing it off. Uh, ooh, I thought that was going to go out, but back to, now. that was back to Fernandez off the handball. Fernandez keeps going through. Got a handball off. That's a kick, and ooh, punched away. Beautiful defense there from the Cats, and now they keep on going. That's kicked off, and oh, Wood, Wood tried that one for the slide. Almost got it. He did get it. They paid the mark. Oh, my goodness, he got that mark. It looked like he had dropped it, but they paid the mark anyway. I think it might have bounced off his knee and into his hands because he had the uh, the legs outstretched. And a couple of players down there. And I think we got it. That's it. Full time. And that's the end of another late day classic. And the final score here from Griffin Park in this 2023 Late Day Classic. It's the Boston Demons victorious with a score of nine goals, nine behinds, and 63 points. Main Cats in there with three goals, eight behinds, and 26 points. And by the way, obviously, this is the end of this game, but it's not the end of this episode of Stateside Footy. Coming up next, we will have another Stateside Footy flashback. about to start here and a lot of action so far between these two clubs right now the score stands at halftime the home club the demons 5 3 33 and the visiting team the main cats two goals five behinds and 17 points goals so far for the main cats we got two uh, one scored in the first quarter by will langdon and dan o'connell picked one up in the second and right now the scoring for the uh, boston demons jeff hamshar has got a goal colin smith has a goal uh, the big news right now is a uh, Stretch Newton, John Newton with three goals for the Demons as it comes out of the ruck and winds up in the hands of the Cats. Cats, nice bit of selling the candy there. Oh, but he's taken from behind. And Will Calvert-Jones will get the free kick. That'll be ball. And Calvert-Jones gets the reward for the tackle. He kicks it up now looking for, oh, actually goes over everybody's head. And it's going to go out to the far boundary. Giving chase there is Colin Smith. We just mentioned he kicked the goal. In fact, he's kicked the last goal as it does go out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in. Good result for the Demons, though, as it is in their right forward pocket. As it comes out now, and Nick Parker gets it over to Jeremy Hum. And here we go. Big kick up the middle there. Nice job there by Dan O'Connell. I'm sorry, that's O'Connell. 
Um, I believe, oh, actually, let's see. Oh, boy. Nice job. There. Oh, boy. Knocked off the ball. That was a bit of a shepherd there on uh, James Johnston. The kick winds up going to Jeff Hamshar, and he gets the uh, free kick there, takes the mark. And he will just spear a small kick, and it's going to hop and uh, go right in front. And it's a race for it now. A couple of players crashing after it. And he handballs it off to Calvert Jones. That was uh, Colin Smith with it there. And Calvert Jones has it down. Kicks it in the middle. Almost intercept mark there. But then Newton actually knocks it over to Ivester. Ivester handballs off to Hamshar. Hamshar, he sprays it wide. And that's going to be uh, skipping out. And still a good result for the Demons as it will result in a boundary throw in still in their right forward pocket. So the Cats trying to move it out. The Demons trying to move it back. Hamshar with a chance for a shot on goal. Just sprayed it wide. And goes up now and tap to ground. Demon's there. Newton handballs it. Kick goes over to Ivester. Ivester kicks that looks like a behind. That's a behind. First point of the second half, and it goes to the Boston Demons. And now it's 5 4 34. And Jeremy Hum kicks it out right into the hands of Calvert Jones. And he kicks it back in toward goal, and that looks pretty straight. That's going to be a goal. Good kick, Will. Will Calvert Jones with the goal there. And now it's 6 4 40 for the Demons. And the Cats are right now on 2 5 17. Now, keep in mind, obviously, this being the main Cats' third league game, they also had some action in the original tournaments a couple of weeks ago. But in the first two games we've seen between them and the Demons, the Demons have had a margin of over 100 points. So if they could keep this a tight game, even if they don't get the win, this could still be a big step forward for the main Cats as it gets kicked down. And here we go. They've got one in, a man in alone. Oh, and he sprays it wide. And it looks like it's going to be just inside. But that will be a point for the main Cats. So now 2-6-18. So now they've got two majors and a major's worth of minors as the kick-in finds its way to James Johnson from Ari Jonik. And he kicks it up now on the wing, and it's marked by Ivester, who's going to play on. Tommy Ivester gets it to the boot, looking for a Newton. Newton's got it. Newton's right there. Prime position for a scoring shot. And the man they call Stretch, looking to stretch the margin even more. And looks like it went wide. It did go wide. It was sprayed a little bit there. So now 6-5-41 in favor of the Bostonians. And Nick Parker getting ready to take the kick in from his own back goal square. And he's got it. Gets it out on the side there. And kick going to the center of the ground. A pack is forming. Oh, almost to Specky there. But now with it, here we go. Here's O'Connell. O'Connell. Oh, boy. He just he just totally missed that one. And now Jonik does not miss. It goes right through the hands of uh, the Verge, though. But the Demons do have it. It's kicked in toward the goals. And it's going to, oh, it takes a weird bounce. And it's going to bounce back. And the Cats will get it. And they'll bring it right out. And here we go. Kicked up high, looking for, oh, it goes right through the hands of O'Connell. And it's kicked toward the goals, and let's see. Oh, looking for one of the Cats players there. It didn't quite sit for him. And the ball is just going to go out, and I believe it's going to be a boundary throw in. So it'll be right in the Cats' left forward pocket. Coming through here, and O'Connell tries to knock it out. And with it there, actually, Bellavo is trying to get it now. Calvert Jones wins the race, and he gets it off just before he's tackled, and it sits for Ivester. Oh, he juggles it and can't quite get a hold of it. He is wrapped up by Parker now, and he still gets it, but then he goes to ground, and 
Parker's got it. He tries to handball it out. That's taken away by Smith. Smith now tries to kick it around. Hum goes to uh, Hamshar now. It won't sit for him. He's got to go down and pick it up. He can't pick it up. And now with it is Beliveau. Beliveau gets it to the boot looking for O'Connell. O'Connell's marked it. And he's just instructed there, don't bother playing on. Just go back and take your shot. So Dan O'Connell, who's got a goal already, has a chance for a second major. Just takes one step, kicks it up, and that's going to be out. And it'll skip out. Kind of smacked the ball there. And let's see. It looks like... Uh, is there going to, yeah, there's going to be an umpire there, so that'll be a boundary throw in. I didn't think it landed out on the full, and it did not. So it'll be a boundary throw in. Oh, man, Cats jumping over, looking to get it. But then the Demons get it away, and it rolls up the far boundary, and Jeremy Hum giving chase, but John Newton will get there first, and he just kicks a line drive. It's going to take a hop. We'll almost wind up in Cat hands. The Demons have it, though. Here we go. The Verge with a kick. Oh, and he missed. In there close. Nobody by him, and he missed. He sprayed it left. So what could have been a huge killer there winds up just being an inconvenience of sorts. 6 6 42 now for the Demons. 2 6 18 for the Cats. As the kick in is taken, it is marked, and he's going to play. Actually, no, he didn't play. I thought he was going to play on, but he stopped his momentum. And he's going to put it over, but it's going to wind up in the hands of Will Calvert-Jones. Calvert-Jones just spear it ahead right to Ivester. Ivester takes the mark, and he'll just go back and take his kick. Cats player making sure he gets back over the mark. As it goes in now, looking for, oh, it's tipped. And Newton has it now. Newton kicks it in, and that's a goal, but then he's taken down. Actually, was that a goal? It looked like it. Once again from here, it did, no, they are kicking it back to the middle of the round, so there we go. So John Newton with another goal there. And before we said that um, the uh, Cats had dodged a bullet when that kick went wide, that kick did not go wide, and it's uh, John Newton's fourth goal of the day. And it comes back out to center, and once again, Hampshire. Hits out to advantage where Calvert Jones kicks it now out toward the foul boundary, but uh, can't be fielded cleanly by John Newton. So as a result, that means that they're going to uh, have a boundary throw in. Latter stages of the third quarter, and right now the score stands 48 to 18 in favor of the Boston Demons. And going back to what I'd said before that uh, if this uh, doesn't wind up being a 100-point deficit like the first two games, this could be a, a kind of a point to a build on for the Cats, but keep in mind, this is only a 15-minute game as far as 15 minutes per quarter. Oh, it's bending! It's a goal! Second goal of the game there for Will Langdon. Wasn't sure where that one was headed, but he did get it to the boot, and then it hooked through. And now, 3-6-24. So the Demons punch one up quick, but so do the Cats. But what I was mentioning here is the last two games have been 20-minute halves, 20-minute uh, quarters, rather, so four 20-minute quarters. So far, we're doing 15-minute quarters because it's a little warmer out today, so you probably won't have that kind of scoring, the kind of deficit like I had mentioned before. But still, the fact that they are hanging tough, and that's a, a whistle. And let's see, a whistle, free kick being awarded to nobody. It's just going to be picked up. It's going to be uh, tossed back up by the umpire and hit out right to Calvert-Jones. Calvert-Jones puts one up and... Oh, my God, right there. And it's Newton once again, and he's just going to take it. And Newton has kicked a bag of five. So John Newton must be the jumper number. Today he's wearing number five, and he just kicked goal number five. So he's definitely the leading scorer for the uh, Demons. He's got five goals. Calvert Jones has one. Colin Smith has one. Jeff Hampshire has one. For the main Cats, one goal to Dan O'Connell and two goals to Will Langdon. 
as they bring it back up. Hampshire trying to hit it out to advantage once again, and Calvert Jones does get it, but as soon as he gets it, he's wrapped up by a couple of players. Parker and uh, someone else there. And it'll be tossed up once again. Hit out and picked up by the Cats momentarily. And handball tube hum and then back. And here we go. Cats on the move. Can he get it? Marks it. He had Ari Jonik all over him, but then he handballs it off. Nice shepherd. And let's see, it's going to go in front. And, oh, it's going to be uh, knocked uh, wide a little bit there. And, and the Demons trying to pick it up. Cats still in there. Cats pushing hard. And Johnson's got it now. Johnston kicks it out. And Hum will intercept market. And Hum is just going to sky one. And it looks like Ivester's going to take it. He's got, he does. Tommy Ivester's got the intercept mark. And he kicks it up the near boundary. And goes past a couple of players and trying to get it there. Uh, we've actually got a new player there wearing the number four. And he handballs it off. Gets it to Hamshar now. Hamshar, oh, can't get the... Uh, Clean handball off, and Parker's got it now. Parker sells a little bit of candy. Goes back, trying to get around Jonik. He handballs it off now, going to Langdon. Langdon, Langdon with a kick up there, and let's see what's going to happen here. It's going to, oh, it's going to bounce. That's a goal. That's number three for Will Langdon. And right now, it's 4 6 30 for the main Cats. And they're coming back. They trail now by four straight kicks. Good showing for the main contingent, improving every time we see them out here on the ground. And this is the third time we've seen them already this season. As it goes up once again, Hampshire shepherded out of the ruck, kind of, sort of. And Ivester has it now. He handballs it off. And here we go. Colin Smith tries to get it to Hampshire. Hampshire's wrapped up, and then we've got a whistle. And a free kick to Jeremy Hum. And Hum just puts a long kick up there. Going for, not quite getting it. He goes off a hand. He had a couple of players there settling under it, but still, it's going to go out of bounds. Still good for the Cats, although time is running out in this quarter. But it's going to be a boundary throw-in, which means if they can get one quick, maybe they can cut this lead even more. Coming out now, and O'Connell has it now. Over to Hum. Hum handballs. That's picked off, and Iverster tries to knock it on forward. Knocked back by Beliveau. Cats almost have it again. He is shepherded right off the ball by Iverster, and then Johnston's able to get it. Wow, almost looked like a bit of a spiral there, or a knuckler. And and uh, Newton cannot cleanly pick it up. So as a result, it's going to be another boundary throw-in. Unfortunately, the Cats could not make the best of that opportunity deep in their attacking zone. As it comes out, and once again, it's over the uh, Demons attacking end of the ground. And we had a bit of a ruck infringement there, it looks like. And we're going to have a free kick, and the free kick will be going to the Cats. And he kicks it across the ground. And, oh, it just goes over his head, and he's got it now. Handball over to Jeremy Hum. Hum gets it, kicks it up, looking for, and almost getting his man Parker. He gets it off the ground now. He kicks it ahead now, and that's going to skip through, and that's going to be a boundary throw in. Still, if the Cats can turn it around really quick here, they can once again take advantage of this opportunity and winds up there. O'Connell's got it now. He's wrapped up and dispossessed, and a couple of players go to ground, and he still tries to handball it off. That's O'Connell under the pile, but then taken out by Calvert Jones. Oh, he can't quite get it to a – well, he can't field it cleanly, but he still gets it to a teammate. Handball back and forth, and here they go again. Jonik has it now. Jonik on the near boundary. Handball over to Colin Smith. He's got it now. He gets it to the boot. Kind of kicks it once again toward the guts. Calvert Jones can't get it. Skips by him, and now Hum's got it. Hum actually can't get it to sit for him either. He gets it now and then is uh, dispossessed. Yep, dispossessed. And his ball, the free kick going to Calvert Jones. And Calvert Jones kicks it and it's marked. Kicked ahead. And there we go. Colin Smith, I believe, with the goal there. And now 9-6-60. And there we go. That is three-quarter time. So the Demons adding more points here. And right now we have a, kind of a doubling of score here. At the end of three, the score stands. The Boston Demons, nine goals, six behind, 60 points. And the main Cats, four majors, six minors, 30 points. 
One more quarter to go, and we'll bring it to you next. You're watching Stateside Footy. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com, find your team, check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We won the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. Well, three quarters are in the books, and right now the Demons have gotten off to more of a lead. They lead now 60-30. to 30. They added a couple more goals from Stretch Newton, Colin Smith with another one, and Will Calvert-Jones adding one. Two goals for the main Cats in that third quarter, both of them kicked by Will Langdon. Fourth quarter about to start here. Of course, the big news uh, right now is John Stretch Newton. He's kicked a bag of five for the Demons, and he's part of the reason why they lead at this point by a score of 9-6-60 to 4-6-30. If not for John Newton right now, the scores would be level. Although I think he's got a behind, too, so actually the Demons uh, might be trailing, if not for John Newton. But uh, Newton having a heck of a day there, uh, wearing the number five and kicking a number of five. So there we go. Newton's got the bag today. And they're all lining up and getting ready for the final quarter of action. Ball goes up, and here we go. Hampshire knocks it out uh, no, to no advantage. Oh, his hum is there first. Oh, it finally sits for him. But now he's got to sell some candy and get away from some pressure. And he kicks it out to the far boundary, looking for and getting O'Connell. Dan O'Connell with it now. He's just going to play on. He's being pursued heavily by Johnson, but he gets the ball off. And that kick's going to be... Looks to be a goal. So Dan O'Connell has two goals now for the main Cats. And right now it's 5-6-36 for the Cats. Still 9-6-60 for the Demons. So, so far, I mean, up to this point, we've had 15-minute quarters because it's been uh, a little warm out here, and obviously, too, with the short numbers, there aren't many interchange players. But this last quarter will be a 20. So we're playing 20 minutes for this last quarter as it gets hit out once again to advantage. Winds up in cat hands, though, after Jonik knocks it on. And here we go. Let's see. He kicks it ahead now, and that's heading for the sticks. And let's see. That looks like that's a goal. Oh, boy. So there we go. Got to find out who, uh, uh, hang on for a second here. We need to consult with one of the players. Who's wearing number four? Pat. Pat, okay. So Pat with a goal there. And as far as major scores go, the Demons hit double digits. 10-6-66 now. <laughs> Isn't that a good score line? What do you think? The Demons, 10-6-66. <laughs> as it comes up and uh, kicked ahead by the Cats. And scoots out here to the near boundary. And it's going to wind up going out of bounds. It'll be a boundary throw in. And here we go, right in front of us here at the stateside footy portable press box. It gets tossed up. The Rucks go to work, and it's hit out by Jonik. But... Soccered ahead a little bit there by Jeremy Hum, who handballs it off down. Wasn't quite ready for it, though. And he can't quite get it to the boot. And Jonah kicks it in now toward the goals. And intercept mark there. Nice job by the Mainers. And it's kicked up here. And, oh, almost taken there. Touched and out of bounds, so it'll be a boundary throw in. Touched by Langdon, who has a couple of goals today. As it goes back up. And once again, hit out to advantage for the Cats. Handballed up head, and here we go. And kicked ahead by the Cats, and it's going to skip right to a Demons player, who then kicks it out. I believe that was Calvert Jones, who gets it over to Johnston now. And then he kicks it ahead, and it is intercept mark there. And that's Alex Bellavo with it now for the main Cats. Bellavo gets it to the boot. Skies it up there looking for Nick Parker. Parker, oh boy. He gets tangled up with Iverster. It goes to ground. And then it's soccered ahead by Jeremy Hum. Hum is able to get it now. And he is wrapped up by Iverster. And he's able to get the ball off, though, to Parker. Parker kicks it in towards the sticks. And let's see. The Demons pick it up. And Ari Jonik has it now off the handball. And they're coming right back up. That's a long kick by Jonik. Looking for not quite getting Stretch Newton. And it's going to go and skip out of bounds. Hey, good sequence. Good sequence. However, good result there for the Demons as they will be getting that uh, boundary throw in in their right forward pocket. Just a few minutes into this fourth quarter, right now 66-36 in favor of the Boston Demons. And the throw-in comes in, and 
hit out by Newton, right into the hands of one of the Cats, and and he gets hauled up. And uh, no prior opportunity though, so they'll just call for it. Goes to the umpire there, and I believe the uh, player who got the ball there was uh, Dave, one of the main Cats, who by the way is playing his first game of Aussie Rules football today, and he's got it right now. So he gets another possession, but then he gets it over to oh boy, that was uh, Bob, I believe, who had it, uh, number 41. Colin, okay, I'm sorry. Colin Smith with it there, and that's a behind, so that's 10-7, uh, 67 now. And kicked wide, and it's going to skip and stay in play. And Jonik won't sit for him. Sits for him now, though. He's able to kick it in toward the sticks, and Jeremy Hum takes the intercept mark, and he will kick it out looking for Langdon. Langdon gets it, and he's going to play on. Once again, coming more towards the corridor, and he's got a target lined up. However, one of the... Uh, Demons got in there. And that's kicked over, and Nick Parker will mark it. And he kicks it in toward the sticks now. There's going to be a battle for it, and it's going to skip toward the sticks. Who's going to get there first? One of the cats will get it. Mark right there. DeVoe, he's got it. He kicks it. Oh, he sprays it. Oh, he sprayed it left. Had a clear kick in the goal, just had one demon to get around. Just put it left. Five, seven, 37 now. And going back to take the kick in now is Ari Jonik for the D's. Jonik blasts it up, and who's going to get there first? Oh, that's a mark. Calvert Jones jumping up and getting it, and he's going to take the running bounce and play on. He kicks it ahead now, and nice, right to Colin Smith. And that's a big kick, and that's a straight kick. And right now the scores of the two clubs are opposite of each other. They've just flipped around as far as the digits go. The uh, Demons right now at 11 7, 73 points. And the Cats at 5, 7, 37 points. So right now, 73 to 37. So the score, a uh, little bit of a, I guess you could say a palindrome right now as uh, we bring it back up to center and get set to toss it up once again. On a beautiful Saturday afternoon right here in the middle of the city of Boston, it's the Demons and the Cats. Thank you very much for joining us here on Stateside Footy as Hampshire hits it out to Jonak, who then knocks it on. And here we go, Colin Smith with a handball up. And here come the Cats again. That's Pat. Pat kicks it in towards the sticks. Will it make it or not? It looks like... It might have gone out ahead of the uh, post. Let's see if that is indeed beh a behind. Actually, it is a behind. So that's a minor score for the you have Demons. So now it's 11 8 74 to 5 7 37. Demons add to their lead with that single point as the kick in is smothered, and he's got to get it again. And it's going to, it's going to be kicked up ahead past a couple of Demons, actually. It's picked up now, and here comes Pat with it now. Pat trying a bit of a centering ball, and it's going to take a bounce, wind up on Hampshire's hands, and then goes back. And who's going to get it there? Looks like it's Calvert Jones. Calvert Jones, kick in toward the sticks, and that's another goal for the Demons. So after that behind by DeVoe where he was in front and he kind of went a little wayward with the shot, the Cats have come back with three, I'm sorry, the Demons have come back with three straight scoring shots, two majors and a minor. So now their score stands at 12-8-80. And once again, the Cats are at 5-7-37 as they get set to bring it back up to center. And they toss it up once again. And right now it's just raining goals for the Demons, although the Cats do punch it out of the ruck. And Jonik tries to get it, but it won't sit for him. Hampshire gets it now, kicks it ahead, and it's rolling once again toward the goal area. And with it there, that's Newton. Newton handballs it back. And it's going in now. It's going to step in. And that looks like that'll be another point. So the Cats with another scoring shot there. So now it's 12-9-81. 81 to 37, 81 plays 37 in favor of the home club, the red and the blue. Still a lot of time to go in this extended fourth quarter because, once again, we told you earlier on they played uh, shorter first, second, and third quarters because of the heat. But as the kick-in comes out, it's taken by the Demons. as Jonah kicks up a centering ball there, and it's marked by Hamshar. So this could wind up being an, uh, basically another seven-point play as Hamshar gets it to the boot. And he boots it straight. That's over. That's another goal. So bing, 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 bing. Five really fast scoring shots. And the Demons have jumped out to a, a bigger lead right now. Their score stands at 13-9-87. 5-7-37 for the main Cats. Right now the Cats are up by a half a century, by a half a ton there. 50 points. 
And once again, it'll go back. Maine needs to get some points on the board, and they need to get them on the board fast. It's a longer quarter, but once again, They've got quite the hill to climb here as it comes out once again, tap two. And finally in the hands of Jeremy Hum. Hum kicks it ahead now, looking for a target by the goals. And it's going to go, let's see, it's going to just dribble and go through. That'll be a behind. So that's a scoring shot. Not exactly the type they want, but at least it gives them more uh, points in the tank. And now the score, 38 points for the Maine Cats. 87 for the Boston Demons as a kick in comes in past Jonik. Jonik is able to get it now, and then he handballs it off. Oh, just a quick handball. He handballs it over Pat. Pat's got it now as it did finally sit for him. And then he kicks it further on in uh, to the attacking area, actually. And, oh, Newton using his height to his advantage, trying to get it to, to go there. Colin Smith with it now. Colin Smith wrapped up. He's able to escape. Actually, no. He almost was able to escape the tackle, but he dropped the ball. And I guess they caught him high as he was trying to get out of that tackle. So that'll be a free kick. And he kicks it in toward the sticks, and that looks like that's going to be wide. That'll be a behind. So there we go, 13-10-88 now for the Demons. So once again, their lead back up to 50, as the Cats will once again take the kick in from their own back goal square. And the kick goes, it's kind of a low-line drive. And it winds up in uh, Kreshak's hands now, one of the newcomers for the uh, main cat. That's Ryan Kreshak out there. And with it now, uh, that is Hum. He kicks it up looking for, not, quite, not quite getting it to Kreshak. And it's going to go out of bounds before either he or Nick Parker can get to it. And that's going to be a boundary throw in. So on the far boundary, they'll throw it back in as the Rucks get into position. And it's hit out by Ivester, actually. And Hum's got it now for the Cats. Jeremy Hum looking for a target. He's just going to kick it forward and see what he can get. And that oh, almost marked there. And that was uh, right there. That's Mark DeVoe. He's got it now. He kicks it in towards the sticks. And that looks like, oh, O'Connell was set to mark it. O'Connell set to mark it. He just couldn't get his hands on it cleanly. And instead of a shot for goal in close, it winds up b bouncing off his hands and being a behind. So now it's a 5-9-39 for the main Cats. Still 88 points for the Boston Demons. And Ari Jonik now taking the kick in. Actually, is that Jonik? No, I'm sorry. That's Calvert Jones. Big difference in hairstyles. I should have seen that. But uh, Calvert Jones will take the kick in there. And it'll go to the far wing. And it'll dribble out. And it'll be another boundary throw in on the far boundary. I'm sorry, that was a free kick. It must have gone out on the full. I thought it was a boundary throw-in. As the kick goes, and Calvert-Jones gets it now. And Calvert-Jones puts it up, looking for, not quite getting his man. I think he was looking for Tommy Ibister. Going for it now is Will Langdon, trying to get it to sit for him. It, he does, and he is wrapped up from behind there by Ibister. Play on, calls the umpire as Pat hands it off now. Handballs it to Ivester, who then gets it, tries to get it to James Johnston. And Ivester with it now. Ivester making a move, kicking in toward the sticks, and caught. Not 15, though. He's going to have to play on. And kicked up now, and Jonik has it. Oh, he dropped it. Couldn't take the mark. And here come the Cats with it now. They just kick it to the center of the ground. And waiting for it there is Nick Parker, who marks it. And he's just going to kick it up quick before the cat, the uh, demons can get numbers back. Bounces off one set of hands, gets to another, and then O'Connell will kick a goal. They had it set there for Mark DeVoe. He couldn't take the mark. Bounced off his hands. O'Connell picked it right up, and there was nobody there. Nice job by the Cats moving the ball quickly down the field before the uh, demons could get some numbers back on defense. And now they've added to their tallies, and now it's 6-9-45 for the main Cats. Still 13-10-88 for the Boston Demons. <laughs> nice job there. Once again, they uh, took the intercept mark basically in the shadow of their own goals. Kicked it right down. Quick mark to Parker, and then Parker kicked it. And uh, and there we go. And now the Cats knock it out of the uh, ruck again. And here we go with a Jeremy Hum as the Cats look to add more points in a hurry. Looking for and not quite getting his target. It's going to roll through, skip through, and it looks like that will be another behind. So the Cats climbing back any way they can. Another minor score there. Calvert Jones to take the kick in. Actually, he just kicks it to himself. And here we go. He's just going to let one rip. Going up, looking for, and getting his man. That's Tommy Ivester. Ivester handballs it off, and here come the Cats. That right there is Pat. And Pat with a super long kick. And that's a monster. That is a goal. 
So the Demons get some of those points back right away. As the Cats come up with three unanswered scoring shots with a total of eight points between them. Two behinds and a goal. And the Demons come right back with a goal. And now it's 14-10-94 for the home club. And 6-10-46 for the visitors. As we continue along in this last quarter of play. And it's hit out by Hum. And Ryan Kreshak trying to pick it up. He can't do it. Demons advance it again. They try and handball it off. It's intercepted. And Hum has it now. Hum handballs back. And here we go. It's back to Hum now. Hum for the Cats. Kicking up the near boundary. And he's got his man there. I believe that's Langdon. Langdon just running with it. Sells a little bit of candy. Gets around his man. And he is on the move. Looking for not quite getting a target in there as the uh, Demons have numbers as it's knocked away. Kreshak has it now. Kreshak. Kreshak gets around one man. Gets around another and kicks it. And that is a goal. That is a beautiful goal by the newcomer, Ryan Kreshak. And the Cats just gave up a goal, but they got it back. 7-10-52 now for the contingent from Maine. And for the Boston Demons, 14-10-94. That was a beautiful play. He was able to grab the ball. He won the ball and then had two demons around him. He was able to just make, make a couple of moves, a quick shimmy here, a move there. And he was able to get between them both and then at a tough angle, kick the ball through the big sticks. Beautiful play there by the newcomer, Ryan Kreshak, as it comes out of the ruck once again. Tipped up and looking for not quite getting Johnston and coming back with it now. That will be... A uh, couple of cats, actually, but it's taken now by Calvert Jones, who handballs it to Colin Smith. And Smith, it's wide. Smith there in tight. He just sprayed it a little right, and now it's 14 11 95 to 7 10 52. And the kick in coming. And it's gotten once again Kreshak. He's on a tear right now. He touches to the ground. He sells some more candy. He is really elusive. However, he held on to the ball too long, though. That will be holding the ball. The Demons did eventually wrap him up. He is one elusive guy, though, as it kicks in towards the goals now. And with it, there is Johnson. Johnson has it. Oh, and it's going to go wide, it looks like. Actually, that's, that could be. Is that out on the full, or is it just a boundary throw in? Either way, no points for the Cats. No points for you. No points for the Demons, I should say. No points for you. As it's the boundary throw in, comes back in. Hamshard taps it out of the ruck. It's taken there by the Cats, and now Hum with it. Hum, just able to get a little escape play going. And oh my goodness, it's picked up by Pat. Oh! <laughs> Calvert Jones just tried a little sweep at an angle, just tried to kick it in midair. And then actually it's kicked. I believe it was Colin Smith there that got the boot on it finally, but uh, went through the uh, the outer side. So that'll be a behind and not a goal. So 14-12-96 now for the Demons. And the Cats take the kick in from their own back goal square. And let's see. Oh, he couldn't get it. But Hum, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, Hum didn't get it. But uh, who's got it now? The Cats have it, and they kick it out. Towards the center of the ground. It's intercept mark. And here comes Newton now. Newton with a big kick. Could this be another goal for Stretch? Not quite. Intercept marked right, right in the back pocket for the Cats. And then he kicks it ahead. And let's see. Oh, right into the hands of the Cats once again. And here we go. That kick is going to be, it looks like that'll be a little wayward too. So now it's 14-13-97 for the Demons. They're heading back towards that old century mark again. As the Cats take the kick in from their own back goal square. And let's see, Beliveau trying to get it now. He does get it, but he is held up by Calvert Jones. He is able to handball it out, though, and get it over to Langdon. Langdon with a kick now in towards the center. And it is marked. Here come the Cats now. Actually, he's stopping a little bit, looking to get some numbers forward. And let's see, tries to kick it to Kreshak. Kreshak giving chase. And Jonah. <laughs> Jonah wraps him up right away. So does Tommy Ivester. And it's just going to be a ball up. No prior opportunity. And I think the Cats have, I'm sorry, the Demons have found the way to handle Kreshak. They're double teaming him right now, it looks like, as the uh, tap goes out to Calvert Jones, who then takes a running bounce and then kicks it back towards center. And is just going to hop and roll. And who's going to get there first? It looks like that's going to be Pat. Pat, kick in toward the sticks. And let's see, it goes through, and oh, here comes Newton. Could this be number six? Oh, he goes around, and let's see, he's still fighting for it. Gets a boot to it, and that is goal number six for 
Mr. Stretch Newton. And once again, the Demons have hit triple figures as the score now stands, 15-13-103. And the uh, main Cats right now at 7-10-52. And yeah, for all intents and purposes, you could probably say this one is done and dusted, but we still have some playing time here. Let's see what these two teams do as uh, Hampshire hits it out, but once again, not to advantage as the Cats get it. Kick in toward the sticks, and right there, Taking it and then putting it through is Mark DeVoe. So DeVoe had an earlier chance and it went wide, but that time he did not miss. So the Cats get one right back. Newton just kicked the goal. The Cats just kicked one right back. So right now it's 8-10-58 for the main Cats. 15-13-103 for the Boston Demons. And once again, they'll bring it back up to center. A lot of balls going back here. We've had a lot of major scores kicked as it was 60-30 to 30 at three-quarter time, and now just both shot and scores just rocketing up. 103 now for the Demons, and 58 for the Cats as it comes out of the ruck once again. And with it now is Kreshak. Kreshak handballs to Jeremy Hum. Hum being chased by Newton. He gets the handball off to Nick Parker. Parker gets some open space, looking for numbers up forward. And is he going to get them? Not quite as it's taken there by Tommy Ivester, who tries to turn it around into attack, but Kreshak picks it up there. He kicks it all, oh, looking for his man. Couldn't get it to O'Connell. O'Connell now on the ground with Jonik, trying to get the loose ball. And here come the Demons once again as Ivester kicks it up on the far wing. And it is marked by the Cats, who then kick it back to their attacking zone. And who's going to get there first? Some good uh, action between these two clubs right now as uh, Newton gets it. Now he's got some space. He's going to take a couple of running bounces. He takes another running bounce. And he finally gets it to the boot. That is a long kick. And it's two on one. And it is loose. And Bob's not going to be able to get there. Um, Bellavo had it momentarily, but then he gets dispossessed. Colin Smith down with it now. The Cat's trying to take it away. And it's just going to be soccered up ahead. And right into the hands of Stretch Newton. Newton bidding for another goal and not getting one. 15-14-104 now for the Demons. As the Cats take the kick in from their own back goal square, Parker settling under it. However, it's going to be Newton. Newton, once again, he wants that seventh goal. He gets the running bounce, and he kicks, and it's going to be smothered. Nice job there by the Cats, and they look to move it out. However, it is kept back in, kicked once again toward the sticks, and I believe that's going to be well out on the full. So here we go. It's going to be a free kick going to the Cats in their own back pocket. Nick Parker walking up saying, me, me, me. And that's where he sets it. However, that marking attempt is spoiled. And then he is hauled down. And with it now, that's Calvert Jones. No free kick for the uh, tackle off the ball. But uh, the Demons now, they get it over to Pat after that kick, that centering ball from Calvert Jones. And the kick goes in toward the sticks. And they're not able to mark it. It's just going to roll out of bounds, though. So still a good result for the Demons as it results in a boundary throw-in in their right forward pocket. Coming in once again and tipped out. No real advantage yet, but the Demons have it now. That's Pat with it again. And he kicks it in. And it's marked right there in front. A bit of a tough angle, but Bob's got it now. And he delivers, and that's going to be sprayed right. Indeed it is, and that's a point. A single solitary point for the Boston Demons. And now ones and fives are wild because their scoreline reads 15-15-105. As the kick in is almost intercepted there, but winds up in the hands of Parker. And here come the uh, Cats with it now. He is wrapped up, but he's able. That was a Dan O'Connell. Puts it through the legs of Kreshak. Kreshak letting one of his teammates get it. That's Langdon now. Langdon. Going for the kick and looking for somebody in front. And it is almost marked. It's on the ground now. And with it there. And kicking the goal is Mark DeVoe. His second straight. Bit of a late surge by the Cats there as Mark DeVoe kicks two goals. And now their score stands at 9-10-64. The Cats right now are about uh, 41 points behind. 15-15-105 is the tally for the Boston Demons right now as we have another goal there. So there we go. And they're about to ball up. 
The Rucks go for it now, and Parker taps it out and giving chase, and that's Jeremy Hum now. Jeremy Hum kicks it out wide and looking for and getting his man. That man right there is Will Langdon. Langdon, long kick. That's a boomer, and that is straight. That is a goal. The Cats continue their comeback attempt, and it's going to go a little short there as that goal went through just about as the final whistle sounded. So we are now at full time. At full time, our final score is the Boston Demons, 15 goals, 15 behinds, 103 points. And the Maine Cats, once again, an improvement over the last two showings as they kick 10-10 with 70 total points. John Newton. John Newton, the best on ground for the day, kicking a bag of six. Will Langdon, best for the Cats, as he kicked four. And that'll do it for this episode of Stateside Footy, but don't forget, you can always watch us on YouTube. Just go to our Stateside Footy TV YouTube channel, or you can also watch the show on Vimeo. Just go to vimeo.com slash channels slash Stateside Footy TV. Or even better yet, you can go to Vimeo and go to YouTube, help us rack up some views on either platform. Speaking of platforms, you can follow us on social media. Our Facebook page is Stateside Footy TV. And on Instagram, and also the, the artist formerly known as Twitter, we're uh, Bill R underscore SS Footy. By the way, we're also available for download by public access cable channels. So if you want to see us on TV in your town, just contact your local station and ask them to show stateside footy in your area. Coming up next time, big event here. It'll be our 100th episode. It'll feature the New York Magpies as they make their way to Millennium Park to take on the Boston Demons. Until then, on behalf of Tyler DeWallaby and the 10-year man, John Cimino, I'm Bill Robert. Thank you for watching Stateside Footy. <laughs>